Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the Space Exploration Agency. We are back with this small little probe that transports a communication module to the Supply Mark 5 spacecraft, which is currently being refueled at the Minmus space station. In about 4 hours and 17 minutes, this small little spacecraft will arrive at the sphere of influence of Minmus, but first I'd like to check this probe's trajectory. So let's switch to map view. Currently we have a Minmus periapsis of 551 kilometers. That's a little bit too far away. So let's focus view on a Minmus at a maneuver. The Minmus space station is at an altitude of 20 kilometers. So I like to have my periapsis at around 40 kilometers. 68, 48, uh, no, no, 46, just a bit more, 41, all right, now that's perfect. Also, I like to fix uh, the inclination, so, yes, now that's almost perfect. Okay, that's perfect, awesome. Okay, it's a very short maneuver, only 21.2 meters per second of delta V are required for this maneuver. So let's rotate the spacecraft around so that the solar panel is facing towards the sun, very nice. Okay, let's do a quick time warp to get closer to the maneuver node. Three, two, one, and stop. Also make sure that I control from here. Very good. All right. I need to be super careful with this maneuver because due to the low mass of the spacecraft, the engines are super powerful and so I don't have to throttle all the way up. It's just low thrust is enough to execute this maneuver and stop. Awesome. Okay, the solar panel is still facing towards the sun. This means I can now do a warp here to the Minmus encounter. That's good. We are flying over to Minmus. Oh, this is fantastic. All right. Minmus is getting bigger and bigger. And... Shouldn't we have the... All right, just a couple of seconds. We can do a quick time warp to get there. All right, now we are in the sphere of influence of Minmus. Let's set the Minmus space station as our target. Oh, the descending node is almost at the Periapsis, this is awesome. All right, we need to perform our capture burn. I like to try to fix the inclination as much as possible. Awesome. Um, the station is ahead of us. Would that be a way to... No. Okay, the station is ahead of us. I could be in a lower orbit then and catch up with the station. I think this sounds better than waiting for the wait, waiting for the station to catch up with us. 11 kilometers and we are down to 7.4 kilometers. Hmm, can I get this spot on without colliding with Minmus? Would be awesome. Right, let's see. I saw something very promising. Yes, yes, yes. Getting closer. Awesome. 300 meters. Minimus periapsis of 10 kilometers. Yeah, this is perfect. Awesome. All right. Well, that's probably one of my best capture burns I ever had or so. This is cool. All right. We still need to wait two hours and 36 minutes. So let's do another time warp. Wow, this is fantastic. I will arrive spot on. Cool. Okay. There are the Minimus space station. 
easy. Okay. No, no, target mode is... At first I like to stay in orbit mode. Okay, I need to be super precise with this maneuver so that I don't end up with a suborbital trajectory or so. This would be bad. All right, let's let's start with a burn. Good. Very nice. Okay. Almost there and end the burn. Okay, I think this was a bit too much. Let's see. Yes, it was too much. We are now too low. So let's rotate the spacecraft around. Oh dear, this will be tricky now because I need to use RCS and RCS is also super powerful. All right, let's see. Let's do very, 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 very super easy. Awesome. This is now 400 meters. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay, now let's make sure that we can keep our batteries charged. All right. The encounter is coming up in uh, 40 minutes. Let's add a maneuver here. Okay. That's awesome. The really cool. All right, we are back in the sunlight. Now the target mode would be super. Beautiful view over to Kerbin and the moon. Awesome. All right, four minutes, three, two, one. Easy. Okay. I like to 22.8 meters. Yeah, I think I can do a high speed, a high speed approach because it's very easy to reduce and to stop uh, this uh, spacecraft. So I can, I can have this high speed approach. That's good. All right, let's rotate it around again. I'm a little bit concerned about the way how I can install this module because for this purpose I need to undock the Supply Mark V spacecraft but I think when I undock it it will be uncontrollable because it has no antenna and I don't think that the it's really sad that the Minma space station can't relay the information to the spacecraft all right let's start to slow it down Okay, good. Let's slow down even more and hopefully come to a stop. Easy. Okay, wow, the the, the thermal control system is glowing. That's interesting. Alright. I think um is this a junior dock? No, this is a normal docking port, that's good. I like to set this as my target. I switch to docking mode. And um Yeah, try to dock to this so that I can store this this communication module up here. Okay, um let's Let's come to a stop for now. No, 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 no. Uh, dang it. And yes, so that's, that's the right direction. I like to turn. Okay, this is good. This is looking very good. Let's start to fly towards the docking port. Hmm, how can I... Where the Supply Mark... Oh, the Supply Mark 5 spacecraft is up here. Hmm. I need to find a way how I can push it away to install this small little communication module. This will be an interesting 
interesting task, but first I like to, to dock it up here so that it won't drift away while I'm searching for a solution. Okay, it's very hard to control. Easy. Okay, I think this is looking good. This is looking pretty much spot on, right on the money. Awesome. And we have arrived. Perfect. Okay. When I undock this spacecraft, I hope over time it will drift away, because I'm, I'm quite sure it won't be controllable. And it's refueled. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, this spacecraft is refueled. Does it need RCS? Uh, monopropellant? Um, I think I do have some monopropellant. Yeah, I can use this monopropellant from the orbital spacecraft. So let's transfer it into the to the Supply Mark V spacecraft, and then this spacecraft should be no no should be ready to leave the Minma space station again and to return to the moon to deliver some fuel because we need this fuel in order to um, refuel the moon ore transporter that will transport the ore from the surface of the moon so that we can complete uh, this one single contract. Okay. Refuel. This fuel tank is full. Full. This one is full. This one is full. Awesome. The batteries are charged. Okay, that's good. Now I need to find a way how I can do this. Let's just see what happens when I say undock. Then you are no signal. Yes, this is as expected. Okay, you are slowly drifting away. Hmm. But you are drifting away, which is good. Can I? I can switch on SAS. This is good. So this thing won't tumble out of control. Let's see. Um, handler. Yeah, handler. You can go. Where are you? There you are. All right. You can go. Let go. On a short EVA. Alright, the spacecraft is indeed drifting away. Now, my idea is this, of course, is dangerous. This is very dangerous, and this thing has a high mass, it's super heavy. So, I need to make sure that Handler doesn't get crushed by the super heavy spacecraft, but. Let's see, when I, let's turn them around, and I go here, and I do this. Can you, can you put it a little bit away? Yes. Okay, I need to keep an eye on my monopropellant. That I can return, yes, yes, this is working, all right. Now the thing should be drifting away. Well done, Handler. Well done, Handler. Awesome. Handler did an amazing job. Okay. And now let's grab. Okay, you stay there. You stay there, Handler. Kerbal is EVA. Right, that's true. And let's uh, switch to you. Okay, yes, this is a good distance. All right, now we can say undock. Switch to this spacecraft. Um, yes, I like to drift a bit away. You are now my target. So let's drift a little bit sideways. Good. Very good. Start to climb up a bit. Handler is observing this whole thing. Oh, dang it. I started to refuel this small little probe. That's bad. I, um, I like to leave this, this fuel up here. 
Okay, maybe I will I will dock it again in order to transfer the fuel somewhere. Okay, um Yeah, let's let's continue this way. Good. Hey, I'm I'm getting really good at this whole docking scenario. That's awesome. All right. Perfect. No, no. Please continue this way. And stop now. Awesome. Okay. Very good. Easy. Perfect. Okay. This was this was easy. This was super easy. Now the spacecraft, yes, so we have full probe control again. This is awesome. So let's decouple this node. You stay there. You. You can return there for now. Okay. Because I like to bring back the fuel. And while you are approaching, I like to switch back to the space station and for now stop the production of a liquid fuel and oxidizer. Awesome. Okay. Wow. Everything's working so well. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. I expected some more issues or so, but yeah, it, it was a good job. Handler. Handler did an amazing job pushing this this Supply Mark V spacecraft. It was truly awesome. Well done, Handler. Well done. Oh no. Please keep going. No, no, no. Ooh. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We missed. We missed. Uh, I need to go what way? Oh no. Um. Okay. Ah, dang it! This is this is super problematic. Once I I missed the the approach. Right, come on, docking port, take over. Thank you. Who? Okay. Okay, and handler super close to the whole uh, scenery. Um, are you refueled? You are refueled. This one refueled or this one is refueled? Something not refueled over here. Um, do we have some ore? Yes, we do have some ore left. Okay, I think I will keep this spacecraft here until the other Supply Mark V spacecraft arrives at the Minmus space station and then I will transfer this little amount of fuel in there and then deorbit this spacecraft. Yeah, this sounds like a good plan. All right, um, handler, handler. Yes, you can now return to your habitat module. You did an awesome job. Well done, well done, handler. Great job, grab and port. Perfect. Okay, that was good. Now back to you. You need to leave Minmus, but just a bit. Just leave Minmus so that I then can start to plan your your flight to the moon. So maybe like this. That's good. Awesome. Coming up in 49 minutes, we are drifting away from the station. This is good, so we can do a time warp. Cool. 
I'm happy that everything worked out so well. I'm happy that Handler was able to push the thing to speed things up. This this is awesome. That's cute. Oh dear, the, the station is catching up with us. Uh, okay, yes, we are still keeping a safe distance to it. Oh dear, I'm a little bit concerned about my... My maneuver. Um, okay, I hope, I hope we are... We have a... Uh, enough distance to the station so that we... Oh dear, now the thing is super unwieldy. It's super unwieldy because I have disabled the, the wheels, right. Okay, now, now it's better. Now it's much better. Okay. Very good. Oh dear, I hope. I really hope we are not colliding. This would be bad. This would be the worst. Ha. 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 Whew. Why? Why am I doing this? <laughs> no. No. Ha. Okay. Okay. This was the worst. It was absolutely the worst. All right. Let's let's do this. Let's let's try to fix what I did. Okay, okay, okay. What what am I doing now? Yes. I'm still leaving Minmus. This is good. 12 hours. Very nice. Um yeah, then I will be in a crib in orbit. Awesome. Whoo. Okay. Okay. This was This was a thing. <laughs> this definitely was a thing. Oh no, why? Why? Um, you will leave Minimus in 12 hours and 40 minutes. This means I need to take care of the other Supply Mark V spacecraft that is still flying two Minimus because in 1 hour and 56 minutes it has uh, the next maneuver. So let's do a quick time warp over here. Very good. Easy. All right. Wow, <laughs> this was almost a disaster. Uh, I was, I was thinking, hmm, the station might be in the way. This could be problematic. But it never was that problematic. Oh dear, why? I hope I'm burning. Yes, I'm burning the right way. This is good. Uh, why have I done this? Why have I done this? This was. It was really a stupid idea. Uh, let's let's just burn. Let's see what happens. All right, now we are on a good way out to Minmus. We have a Minmus periapsis of 127 kilometers. This is good. Um, yeah, I can I can trim this later on. The other spacecraft needs some time until it leaves Minmus. I hope it will leave Minmus and is not in an orbit. Um, but yeah, let's, let's zoom a little bit closer to Kerbin. Kerbal Space Center has some daylight left. And we don't have so much time left for this episode. This is good because then we can go to the Space Center. I have prepared the basically space or transporter. I also called it the space or transporter. This spacecraft will be used just for the purpose of completing this contract because we have to acquire 2,400 units of fresh ore from the moon and then we for some reason have to put this ore into an orbit of Kerbin and the spacecraft I have designed will exactly do this. Um, it's called the Space Ore Transporter. Space Ore Transporter. Wow, it's quite expensive. It's only built for the purpose of transporting the ore into an orbit of Kerbin. All right, this is my space ore transporter. It has four holding tanks, one large one and three small ones. And with those four holding tanks, it has the exact capacity of 2,400 units of ore. In this case, it's indeed just built for a single task 
that is, to transport the 2400 units of ore into an orbit of Kerbin. Alright, let's launch this spacecraft into space, SAS is on, adjust the throttle, and in 3, 2, 1, and lift off, lift off from the space or transporter heading for the moon. I decided to go for the super heavy launcher because it's indeed a super heavy spacecraft with those four holding tanks and this Rokomax X232 fuel tank. So yes, I think this was a right decision to use this super heavy launcher instead of my standard space launch system. Okay, we are on a good trajectory, looking good. I like to be a little bit more easy on uh, the gravity turn. I think it's more important to get to higher altitudes before I will really start to begin uh, the gravity turn. The SRBs soon will run out of fuel. All right, 11 kilometers, very good. And they are out of fuel, so let's uh, jettison them and start to begin with the gravity turn, but easy, very easy. Alright, yes, this is looking good. Now, now we are in business. Awesome, I think I can throttle down a bit. Okay, that was really a steep, steep trajectory, this is not good. Oh dear, yes, I think I can turn over quite a lot. Oh, wow, yes, this is the spacecraft, uh, the, the, the booster is super powerful. Alright, let's go for the... for the 15... Okay, yes, this is... Hmm, this is not good. Once again, I like to go for... Uh, okay, I think I like to go for uh, maybe 110 km epilapses this time. Because the trajectory isn't that great. Alright. Let's add a maneuver there. I have some fuel left. I hope this fuel is enough to almost accelerate the spacecraft to orbital velocity. This would be good because then I can save a lot of fuel in this fuel tank, which I will need in order to fly out to the moon. All right. Getting closer. Okay, let's start to rotate the spacecraft around. It also has some lights so that it's more useful for being operated during the, during the night as I constantly have important mission steps in the night. So I decided to, to add some lights to the spacecraft. All right, now, now we need to insert the spacecraft into an orbit. It's really an inefficient launch trajectory this time, but oh well, now that's what it is. At least I can use the all the fuel in my in my super heavy launcher. This is good. All right, we are getting closer to orbital velocity, so let's slow it down and make sure that the upper uh, the the center crew booster isn't inserted into an orbit. Yes, this is this is good. All right, goodbye and switch you on. All right, now we need to insert the spacecraft into an orbit. Very nice. And stop. 120 by 105. A little bit eccentric, but okay. The moon, is that the moon is my target? Okay, um, there's the descending node, so when I burn normal, I might be able to start fixing the inclination a bit. This would be quite good, let's see, yes, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 3, 2, alright, this is good enough. All right, the space ore transporter is in space. We can now extend the solar panels and we will 
perform the transmuna injection burn in the next episode. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. It was really an exciting episode with this close call as I wanted to leave the as I wanted to leave Minmus with the Supply Mark V spacecraft. Oh dear, oh dear, this was bad. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Until then, my name is Sebi. See you!